To die, one only needs to be alive. However, undoubtedly, one of humanity's greatest achievements has been the level of health and medical care we enjoy today. It's not just that we have eradicated certain diseases from the world, but also that some ailments, which today are dealt with in a few days of feeling unwell, could have meant death just a century ago. Some of the most powerful figures in history would have given empires, kingdoms, and mountains of money to have access to the remedies of the 21st century. In this video, we review some of the most prominent kings and historical figures who died from the effects of an illness. Alexander the Great Alexander III of Macedonia is counted among the greatest conquerors in history. He inherited the crown from his father, Philip II, at the age of 20 and expanded his empire to India, a territory entirely exotic and unknown to the Greek culture of the time. For centuries, he has been the prototype of a general whom countless figures leading empires, kingdoms, or armies have wanted to emulate. To add to his achievements, Alexander the Great accomplished all his success in a very short life, as he only lived for 32 years. He died between June 10 and 13 in the year 323 BC, leaving behind a great mystery for history, what caused Alexander the Great's death. Logically, the further we go back in time, the more challenging it becomes to find convincing answers that explain illnesses as we understand them with current knowledge. That's why researchers have to deduce the illness based on the symptoms found in ancient sources. Plutarch wrote three centuries after Alexander the Great's death and tells us that the monarch was in Babylon when he was struck by burning fevers and delirium. After eleven days with no improvement in the fevers, he died. Based on these descriptions, specialists proposed three possible causes, Alexander the Great could have died from poisoning, malaria, or Guillain-Barre syndrome. The latter option was a theory published in 2019, and it is a neurological disease that causes paralysis or deep coma, which could explain the legend that says Alexander the Great remained uncorrupted for six days after death, he might have fallen into a coma, and they declared him dead prematurely. King Herod, nicknamed the Great. Herod I of Judea, died around 4 BC in a horrendous manner according to ancient texts. Flavius Josephus, a first-century author, recounts that the king fell seriously ill at the age of 70 and eventually died. The king was extinguished by sadness and illness. He had a constant fever, unbearable pains throughout his body, continuous discomfort in the colon, tumors on his feet, a swollen belly, and putrefaction in his genitals from which worms were born. Such a description has led specialists to diagnose him with a combination of renal failure, gonorrhea, and myosis. Baldwin IV Possibly one of the most well-known and tragic cases of kings who died from illness. The leper king ruled Jerusalem from 1174 until his death in 1185. From his childhood he displayed symptoms of that divine curse that leprosy was considered during the Middle Ages. He lost the fingers of his toes and hands, his face became deformed, and his nose fell off, earning him the nickname Pig King. This fateful disease claimed Baldwin at the age of 24. King Henry VIII when Henry VIII ascended to the throne of England at the age of 17 in 1509, he was a true athlete, tall, slim, and very handsome. However, poor nutrition and an accident he suffered when he was just over 30 caused him severe wounds that never healed. But that's not all, his chronic wounds had a foul odor, and reportedly, they stank so much that you could smell them from several meters away. From the age of 36 until his death at 56, he endured daily intense pain that left him in a consistently bad mood and intolerant. King Alfred King Alfred the Great ruled the Saxon Kingdom of Wessex in England during the 9th century. It is known that for much of his life, the king suffered from Crohn's disease, a painful intestinal condition that causes chronic inflammation of the gastrointestinal tract. The pain persisted for over 20 years, and the doctors at that time were unaware of the cause. 
Since there were no concrete diagnoses, rumors circulated that King Alfred was possessed by the devil or being punished by a witch.